Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I am going to do um, make some more wax seals and I picked up some feathers. Um, I was looking for white ones but I couldn't find any. I found these colored ones at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to use those and um, the wax and the stamps that I'm using, the seals, the stamp seals, are from craftsbuyer.com and I'll share this information in the description box below. I'll put a link in there. And if you use the code Minnesota5, you'll get $5 off of 40. So um, I wanted to make a couple um, with feathers. Um, this I'm thinking is gonna be a little bit too big. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe make two out of it if it'll if it works here. You know, just to add a little bit of feather behind it. Um, I also do have some eyelash trim that we maybe will use. Um, and I just pulled some thread out. So we'll see if we do or not. Um, I have the white uh, wax from Craspire. And then I also have some um, little gold and browns here that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the gold and the brown. This one is icky. I've used it before. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop three of them in there and... The color doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm gonna mix the colors. I like the marbled effect. So what I'm gonna do is just try and put them over top of that and see if we can get an image stamped. Um, just gonna lay a couple of the little feathers out. I'm gonna actually pull them, dump them out of the bag off camera here. There's all kinds of little bits and that's kind of what I'm looking for. It's just the little pieces. So like this. I just want a little piece. And I'm doing it um, on my non-stick mat here so that I can peel them up and save them for future use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in this little spoon. Um, and then um, the stamps that I'm gonna use are this here one. I think I've showed you this one before. Um, there's little flowers in that one. And uh, the next one I have has the bird on it in the branch. And then this one has, I don't know what you call these little motifs or something, but it's got the little frame with the silhouette image in it. And then this one has a bee in it. So I want the bee on the yellow ones here. Um, and these handles, um, you just twist them off of the stamp itself. And then you go ahead and you swap it out and put it back the, you know, twist the handle onto this so you can change them out. So you don't have to have a handle for every stamp. Okay, so we're just gonna give that a second to melt. And then, let's see, I don't want the pink on the B one, but I do want this one. And while that's melting and we're waiting here really quickly, if I can find it, um, yeah, right here it is, I think. Um, I have some natural um, feathers. And so I'm gonna grab a couple of those out as well. Just a couple, a couple little ones here. Okay, so I'm gonna set those aside. Those are fluffy. Oh goodness, probably make me sneeze here. Just, oh goodness, that was not smart. I just tried to blow the stuff off of my mat, and blew the feathers all over the place. All right, so I have a little stick here and we can just kind of swirl that. It's getting close. And now I have to pay attention because when I dump this, then I need to make sure that I do it the right way because I want the feather up. So, and there is like this ridge in the feather, so I'm not sure how well it's actually gonna work. Um, so let's see, I'm just gonna put my finger where the top is. It looks like it's ready to me. For, to me, it looks like it's ready, I guess. So I'm just gonna dump that kind of in a blob there. And it does tend to wanna run a little bit off, you know, where that raised edge is. Okay, so making sure, and you kinda gotta be a little bit quick with this. And we just set it on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab three more and plop them in there. And then we're gonna do this one. Maybe we'll do that one with the bird. So we'll do that one. Let's see here. We're gonna do the flower with that color. 
Yeah. Would be nice if I had two of these things going because then it would be melted by the time I switched the other one out. They have all kinds of wax and they have the spoons and you know these the tea lights and um, the stamp heads the handles. Um, just go ahead and click on that link and go check them out. So. starting to melt um, and just we're gonna leave that on there for another second I don't want to peel that off the feather or something it doesn't take real long it does kind of set up pretty quick um, but we're just gonna go ahead and make a couple of these I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that out I think we'll make these ones. It's getting there. And you don't have to swirl it. I mean, it it, it kind of mixes when you dump it anyways. So let's see, we're gonna peel this one off. And I don't wanna wreck my feather here. I'm gonna peel it off of the nonstick mat. And then, isn't that cool? So how fun, like on a pocket or a tag in like a bee journal or a nature journal or anything. So, and it's stuck, definitely stuck on there. And you can just use any glue and glue it right on, you know, your tag or, or something. So I'm gonna set that one aside. This is now melted. Um, so which one did I wanna do? We wanna try the bird. Let's try the bird. This one has a bigger, whatever you call that thing in the middle, but I'm gonna try and dump it right on the bottom here. And I'm okay with it if it's, um, I'm gonna set that one aside and set that one up there. I'm okay with it if it's not exactly straight. Um, but, you know, if one side is, like this one's gonna be wonky, one side's gonna be, have some and some's not, you know, and that, that is partly because of that ridge in the center of the feather there. Okay, so. This one, I'm gonna use that one on. So I'm gonna take the B off that handle and go ahead and add the handle on that one. All right. Yeah, so I'm gonna just, as long as we're waiting for that to melt there. Let's see. Now I don't know what I did with what I was gonna grab here. Um, so I know this isn't the right color, but like an, a good example here is a belly band that's ready to decorate. Um, you know, you could just plop that right on there and it's embellished. Or, let's see. Again, not really the right colors, and this one maybe would look better with it, but you'll get the idea. See, and you just glue that right down, and there you go, or you know, on the top of a tag, as a tag topper. So, all kinds of fun with those. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and peel that one up. And yeah, that one did not um, go all the way, but I'm gonna show you. You can still see the bird and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, I definitely still use that. So we're gonna put that aside. Okay, this one is done. It's ready to pour and now, oh goodness. Okay, don't burn yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and put three more in that one. I'm gonna dump this one right over that. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna set that on there to heat. Okay, gonna set that on the side. And now we're gonna take and set this one in. This one's probably gonna be crooked too, but that's okay. Just pop that down right on there. And then just leave it alone. Okay. 
So I wanted to use the natural colored flower with the bee. Or not flower, feather. You know what I'm talking about. Um, where is the bee? I'm going to take the bird off. Put that on this one. The bee is on here now, so. And you know, maybe we could put two. Let's put two. Two with that one. And what about, I don't know, a little bit of thread here. This is just out of my sewing machine, so it's kind of a mess. You know, little pieces all over, but we're just kind of making a little mess with it. And set that right on there. Okay. This one is dry, I think. Oh, not quite. I'm gonna let that set for a second. And so you can kind of see through the white. So I'm okay with that. There, I think I think it's dry. Peeling that off my mat here. And then there you go. And then like I was saying, this one. Oh, See how cute is that? And you can take and you can take a marker and rub over the top of this so that your image shows, or you can leave it like you know, like that. So the feathers work really well. Um, okay, we have a couple little pieces in there, but we're getting close. Okay. I think I am going to go ahead and put three in this one, the one that we have the white, that we had the white in. Um, this one is ready to dump, so I'm just going to set that one on top of there so it starts melting. And now I'm just going to try and dump it right in the middle of the two feathers and kind of on the thread. It's running off on the side, so this one's going to definitely be wonky. And then get the top of the B and just stamp that right down on there. Let that sit. I like the look of them with the thread and the messiness of it. So on this one, let's go ahead and pull a little bit of this eyelash trim off of here. And then See, should we just kind of spool that up like that too? That might be a little bit too much, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I kind of have to put it a little tighter on there, otherwise we're not gonna catch the ends of it and it'll just pull out in a straight line. So we don't want that either. I don't think there's a technical way to do this. You just kind of do it. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Stay there. That one we have the flower stamp. All right, and let's see. We're gonna go ahead and do another one of the, of this color, the golds and browns because this is ready to take off of there. So we're gonna exchange that out. And now try to pour this right in the middle. It's, it's gonna go all over the place because it's not level. So I'm gonna try and quickly just get that on there. Okay, and now let's see, I can see on this one, there's big bumps on the side here. That's okay. If it's a little bulky, you just use it on the cover or you know, on something that you don't have to put in a pocket. And so that'll work. Okay, this one feels like it's done. I'm excited to see this one. And they peel off when they're done really easy. So, you know, the stamp comes out of it, doesn't stick or anything. And oh, that's really cool. Isn't that cool? I like the one with the natural feathers. I hope you guys can see that, I don't know. So, we have our little bee. I'm gonna set that up there. 
And then what are we gonna do with this one? Um, which one did we use them all? We used that one, that's our B. Let's do the little bird again, huh? I think so. So we're just gonna switch that out. And um, let's see, we have a little tiny feather here. Let's just do a little tiny one just to get a little bit. We'll just kind of pour it off on the side. Okay, this one is dry. So yeah, this one was a little wonky. We had a lot of layers in there. So it's a little, this side is a little wet yet, but I still think it's cute. It reminds me of a peacock feather now. Um, and I, I mean, I'll still use it, so. So we have that one. We have our little bee just on a yellow feather. But I mean, it adds so much. And I literally got these feathers at the Dollar Tree. So you can do anything with them. And if they're wonky and don't, I, it doesn't bother me if they're not exactly straight. And this one. And I think this is my favorite one. The bee with the natural colored feathers and the, th the thread from the sewing machine. All right, so this one is good. Now I'm gonna pour this off to the side here. Just catching a smidge of that feather. <sighs> Blow out that candle. All right, the bird on there. Okay, so we're gonna let that set up here. I'm gonna set my, cover up my wax here. Actually, um, I should have, now I got this stuck in here. I should have left my candle going and put these on there to wipe them out. Um, clearly I didn't do that last time with this one because when I took it out of there, it was, um, it was full of old wax, so. Okay, so I'm going to put these little wax melts back in here, but yeah, go check them out. They have all kinds of colors of wax. They have, the next, the next wax that I want to try is the transparent wax, like the see-through. I think that would be fun. So let's see if I can light this again okay put that on there so that i can wipe it out and just let that dry and peel it off okay all right so let's see what our little tiny one looks like See, just a little tiny hint of a feather on the side, and I think that's really cute. And I have thread or something stuck on the top of it. That's not supposed to be on there, but all right. So there you go. Maybe you can see it on there. So I think they're cute. They're fun to play with. It's kind of relaxing. So you guys go ahead and click on that link and check them out. And um, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.